Hello everyone and welcome. Today I'd like to walk you through the process of using Omniverse Web for converting your FBX files into the Omniverse Cloud. This is going to be a very useful process, especially those first starting out, as it gives you the opportunity to get your models in very quickly and you can start reviewing what you have almost immediately inside of Omniverse Web. There are a couple caveats and I'd like to walk you through them all. Okay, great. Let's get started. So this is what Omniverse Web looks like, and I'd like to show you how to actually get here. So I'm going to close my web browser, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit my Start button, and I'm going to click Omniverse Web. If you don't have that link in your Start bar, you can just go localhost colon 8080, and that will take you to the same place. Just as long as you put it in a web browser, you'll come right here. Okay, cool. You might even want to bookmark this. Okay, so wonderful. So now that you've got that bookmarked and you know how to get here, let's go ahead and log in. So the first thing we're going to want to do is type in our username and sign in. Wonderful. Okay, so now let's go ahead and navigate to a location that's going to be useful to us. So I'm going to navigate to my user folder by going to users and then my name and then uh, this is where I want to be. And now I'm just going to go ahead and create a new folder. And I'm just going to call this uh, Erica uh, Archer. And I'm going to call this Web. So if you had seen my uh, Kit video where I was showing how to do this same process in Kit, um, you would have seen how this came in. And I'm going to show you basically how it comes in exactly the same way, only in the ways kind of easier. So, okay, good. So now I'm just going to go ahead and drag my FBX of Erica Archer into uh, the uploader. And it's going to give me this option dialog just like before. And once again, I can make all the choices that I would like to make. So I could either choose to use in, in, uh, to import materials, which I want to do. Uh, I can choose to import animations. This does not have any animations, so I'm going to disable that. I do not need cameras. Uh, import as single USD gives me the option to separate into separate uh, USD files or in this case where they will all be uh, one single USD file. So that's kind of your preference whether or not you want uh, multiple USDs to comprise of your scene or just the single USD. Um, I'm going to leave it as single USD this time. Uh, and we can also go ahead and generate smooth normals which is for the most part, always going to be wanted. Uh, export preview surface, I do not need. And support point and sensor, I do not need. So I'm just going to go ahead and upload and convert. And voila, our model goes up as an FBX file. It gets converted to a USD file, and our materials are automatically generated, as well as their textures are imported and put where they need to be. So now all we would have to do is launch up kit and we can go ahead and locate that file. And I'm going to go users, Paul, Erica, Archer, web. And I'm just going to drag this USD scene uh, into my scene. And we can go ahead and look at this and see that it worked. So create light, sphere light. And we can see that everything came in just as it should have. So really easy way to get things in. So that was the first bit. Uh, another nice thing, I'm going to not save that. So just that, that kind of proves that this all works beautifully. And the next thing that I'd like to show you is just how uh, easy it can be to bring in multiple files. So let's go to another folder. And I'm just going to create a new folder new folder and I'm going to go uh, multiple files, right? I don't know. And I'll go into here and now I can grab multiple FBX files. So I'll duplicate this one uh, just to make it easy. And I'll grab, I don't know, three or four of these models. And you can drag those in and say upload and convert and it'll go ahead and create all the necessary files and what's kind of nice is as you can tell the materials have populated with the correct instancing so we don't have a bajillion 
copies of materials and animations and everything. So, um, so yeah, so that's the uploader through Omniverse Web. And uh, it really makes an easy time of uploading just about anything into the web and getting it ready for you in kit. All right, hopefully this was useful and thank you for watching.